All right, we are joined with Lily Hudson, Chloe LaCourcier, previewing the NCAA championships. We'll start with questions for both of them. For both of you, you talk a lot throughout the year about your goal is to be there on the last night of the floor. You're now one step away from that. What has it taken to get to this point so far, and what will it take to get to that final night of competition as well? Yeah, I think it's just a blessing in itself to make it to the Elite Eight with uh, the comp competition has just grown every year with gymnastics it's it's not easy to make it to the elite eight and so we're just really proud of all the work that we've put in inside the gym just numbers and and basics and just really developing our craft and also the work we put in outside of the gym developing our connection our and our bond and making sure we're all on the same page is, has been what's carried us through the year and something we rely on so um I'm just really proud of us and excited for the week. Yeah, I think like Lily said, that's exactly what we've been doing and just going into this last competitions, um, using that as our superpower and growing from that. Chloe, this is your first time um, competing at NCAAs. What are you kind of looking forward to? And then what have the upperclassmen like Lily um, told you about competing on this stage? I think what I'm most looking forward to is just another opportunity to be with these girls and with this team. Like, it is a competition, but it's also an opportunity to travel together and just make more memories that will last a lifetime. So that's what I'm most excited for. But I think I've learned so much from our upperclassmen and honestly everybody this year. And I think Lily's done an exceptional job at like helping me prepare for not just the postseason, but just each day going into practice and stuff like that and focusing on not worrying about the outcome because they'll love me no matter what, so. <laughs> Do you want to add anything to that, Lily? Oh, yeah, I just, I mean, I've had two years under my belt. Uh, one year uh, we made it to nationals and one year we didn't. And I think I've learned a lot from both experiences and I try to um, give the underclassmen as much knowledge and as much experience through me as I can. So I'm, but I'm just excited to experience it with this group. You talked about last year, y'all didn't make it um, when all the seniors came back for this year for their fifth year. Then there's also a large senior class kind of under them with the regular um, fourth years. Just kind of how much is there a focus of this week of kind of giving it um, your all for, for this group and their kind of last chance um, to make a mark in a script day? I think. This year has just been special in itself. Like you said, everyone coming back, uh, we're all so connected and just best friends, and we want the best for each other. And we've just really had the best time this year experiencing it. So I think just going out and just giving it our all one last time, um, we're, we're going to be so content and so proud of us. Just committing to going all in, because why not? What's, gonna, what's it going to take and kind of what have you guys been working on in order to become more consistent on all four events? I don't think it's more like um, about just being consistent but just trusting our training because we are a consistent team and we are capable of putting up these huge numbers and just doing our jobs. So I think it's just relying on our training and not letting the out like external factors like get in our heads and just focusing on us and staying in our circle. We've done a lot of mental work and physical work, and I think at this point in the year, we're just trusting and, and letting go and doing what we know how to do every single day. That's what it is. I mean, uh, just letting our love for gymnastics shine. So y'all are gonna open the semis with the same rotation you had at the regional final. Does that help at all in preparation? It's kind of cool how that works out. Everything happens for a reason. We got, we got one under our belt and we know exactly what to do and the rhythm and momentum that helps us be at our best. So, yeah. I think we'd be excited to start wherever. And just like Lily said, we got to start there at regional. So taking that opportunity and rolling with it. Kind of bouncing off that, what did y'all learn as a team from regionals and having the two meets within three days and the quick turnaround? And then also just kind of seeing, you know, with Michigan and it, how one or I guess two big mistakes can mm -hmm. um, end things. Just kind of what did y'all learn from regionals? I think we learned just how much fight this team has and how resilient we are. Not everything has to go perfect. We just have to be us and and trust that because it's enough. We put in the work for it to be enough. And that I mean, that's all we got to do. Yeah, like Lily said, we've learned that this team is capable of so much. And if it's not perfect, that doesn't mean it's over and that we can keep fighting. 
And I think we showed that at regionals, but we're going to continue to show that as we continue the season. So talk to me a little bit about the fan um, attendance. We had a lot in Michigan, probably will have a lot in Texas. Looks like there will be a send-off tomorrow. What do the Alabama fans mean to y'all when y'all are competing? I think the Alabama fans changed the game. Like, when you look up in the crowd and you see that whole people, like, rooting for you, it's just that a little bit of a reminder. Not that we need it, but it does help uh, motivate us and continue pushing us, so. Yeah, I mean, our fans go crazy. You just see them in the back, like, especially at SECs this year, you see them in, a, in the back of our floor routines on their feet, jumping up and down, going crazy. I mean, it honestly just fuels the fire. It gives us the momentum to keep, keep our energy up uh, throughout the meet. All right. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Roll Tide.